I'm Gil Sorales, your 2021 board chair for the Chamber of Commerce this year, and I'd personally like to thank each and every one of you for being here today. First, if I could invite Kristen Douglas to come up and provide for our invocation. Good afternoon. If you would join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you especially today for your never-ending love and grace as we begin the season of Lent. I pray that we grow closer to you at each and every day during this time. Lord, please bless these outstanding leaders and businesses serving Douglas County that we will recognize today. Lord, please bless this meal today and those who have prepared it. May it nourish our bodies, minds, and souls to continue your service to further glorify you. In your, holy, in your son's holy name, amen. If you would please stand and join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you very much, Kristen, for that. Um, it is now my pleasure to recognize today's event sponsor, Connolly Jordan and Associates, and if I could invite Andrew Jordan up to provide a few remarks. Thank you all for joining us today, and thanks to the Chamber for letting us host the February luncheon. We normally do the January luncheon, and I'll stand up here in January and give some doom and gloom of a tax update right before an inspirational economist speaks. But now I get to d give you the doom and gloom before we pass out awards and celebrate success. So I will try to keep it as positive and uplifting as possible, <laughs> as I can make tax law. Uh, last year was a year like no other, and this year we get to reap the benefits of it. Uh, what is most relevant to all of you is the tax law changes. Uh, my favorite phrase that I hear people use is, oh, I have a simple return. Well, folks, I just counted four major tax law changes written last year uh, that will certainly impact your return. To give you some context and how long it takes, uh, the IRS just caught up to 2017's tax law change. So. Uh, between the unemployment benefits, uh, the stimulus check reconciliation, PPP, family medical leave, and the extremely generous $300 uh, charitable contribution uh, deduction you get, your tax return just got more complex. Uh, now to top all this off, the IRS is more backlogged than ever. Um, the commissioner just announced that they cleared their mail backlog, but that just means they opened it. It doesn't mean that they've read it yet. As of December, they were still 6.9 million unprocessed returns, and they're not responding to written correspondence, and rarely will they answer within an hour. So, uh, but they're still filing liens, and they're still opening tax audits, levying wages, still doing collection audits. Uh, all this is being done from their homes. Um, but just to, to give you an idea of how bad it is, um, we knew something was wrong when the TurboTax people weren't dancing this year in their commercials. So. <laughs> With all that, I strongly encourage you all to connect with a good CPA. Uh, if you don't have a good CPA or need one, we're at these two tables. You can come talk to us, and we can pass out some cards. Uh, and we also have, should have some information on your hand sanitizer and your chip clips. But, um, and before, before I forget, Dennis wanted me to also say that he's doing much better. A lot of you have been asking about him uh, since he had surgery. He's doing a lot better, and he's back in the office part-time for the time being. Uh, so, uh, but thank you all for coming. We're glad to host this every year, and maybe next year I'll get to host uh, right before tax season starts. <laughs> thank you all. Great. Thank you, Andrew, and thank you for your continued support of the Chamber and our community. Well, to say the least, it's been an amazing 12 months that we've um, come through, and it was my pleasure to serve as the chair elect. Last year, um, it was like nothing we've ever faced. I'm proud to say that our chamber took the pandemic um, by the reins and created new programs, drove community initiatives, and supported businesses in ways that we never thought possible and never would have imagined beforehand. Um, the chamber led the charge in supporting the nonprofit community from holding weekly roundtables 
to bringing them together for collaboration, to coordinating locations with the Red Cross for blood drives. We saw our country face many heartbreaks in the battle for social injustice, and our organization took a stand in support of hate crimes legis legislation led by our impactful diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. Supporting the needs of our small businesses was more critical than ever, and I'm proud to say that the chamber was instrumental in um, a joint uh, sponsorship or partnership to provide over $250,000 in funds to nearly 60 local small businesses as they navigated the effects of the pandemic. We cannot do this work uh, without the help of each of you in the business community, each of you in the room here today, each of our elected officials, our board, our diplomats, and certainly our talented staff. Um, but now, let's move on to awards. That's why we're here today. Um, so our first award today is to recognize our Diplomat of the Year. For those who don't know, diplomats are encouraged to participate fully in chamber programs. They serve as ribbon cutting and network event hosts, as well as many other duties. They really are the backbone of the service of our chamber. Um, diplomats ensure that our members receive the high level of service they expect from our organization. The Diplomat of the Year is the volunteer who has attended the most events, made the most member contacts, and provided the greatest service to our membership. This year's recipient is certainly a friendly face to many of you here today. Um, as a diplomat, they attended over 40 events last year and presented at several of these events. I'm astonished at just that number because a lot of our events were canceled, so just to meet that number was impressive to me. Um, they volunteered her, or she volunteered her time and talents to coach members on how to manage businesses and employees. She is a constant advocate for the chamber, recruiting countless businesses to join this organization, all the while operating her own business. Um, so we are pleased today to announce and recognize that the 2020 Diplomat of the Year is Dr. Deborah Johnson Blake with the Writing Pad LLC. Dr. DJ is not able to be with us today in person. We hate that she's not here today, but we do want to make sure to recognize her and all of her accomplishments as a diplomat. So Dr. DJ, thank you for your service to the chamber, our members, and the overall support of our business community. Now I'll turn it over to Tanya. Thank you, Gail. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Each year, the awards committee has the very difficult task of selecting that one member from our various programs and committees who is the shining star among our chamber membership, the individual who embodies the Chamber Spirit Award. This year's recipient has served on the Leadership Douglas Retreat Committee for the past four years serves as the Water Resource Day Chair for Leadership Douglas and Youth Leadership Douglas, serves as the Partner in Education Board Chair, serves as an Advancing Modern Professional and Douglas Board Member and chairs the Service Committee. This person is always willing to lead, to lend a creative mind or supportive hand to anything needed. Please congratulate my friend, our 2020 Chamber Spirit Award winner, Lindsay Sargent, with the Douglasville, Douglas County Water and Sewer Authority. Woo, Lindsay! I would do that if I were down there. <laughs> We're tag teaming today. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, our next award is going to be uh, from the Advancing Modern Professionals in Douglas program. Um, the program seeks to attract emerging professionals to engage, develop, and serve in Douglas County. The top 10 young professionals of the year are recognized annually, and from this group, um, one is selected as the Young Professional of the Year. The 10 recipients this past year um, were among the elite in their respective fields, and they are 
Amy Barrow with the United Way of Greater Atlanta, Dr. Ronnie Bolar with Vital Life Chiropractic, Devici and Caldwell with the Douglas County Schools, Charles Camp with Greystone Power Corporation, Monique Carruthers with Zest Preparatory Academy, Kayla Elliott with Ray Lynn and Associates, Katie Hilbert with Children's Voice, CASA, Amy McCoy with My Hometown Realty Group, Blair Pilgrim McClure with West Georgia Board of Realtors, and Erica Pullen with UGA Cooperative Extension Douglas County. I'd like to this time invite Elena, Elena Hudson, excuse me, Chair of AMPT to the stage to help present this award to our Young Professional of the Year. This year's recipient has an excellent balance of professional success and service to the community. The recipient has ensured the faith, uh, sorry, ensured the faith uh, future, uh, that's hard to say, ensured the future sustainability of their organization by maintaining their character, played a significant role in tripling the organization's membership, actively serves on the um, political action committee of their organization. Um, and their other passions uh, in service to the community include serving on numerous nonprofits, including Denim and Diamonds, Charities of Douglas County, Keep Douglasville Beautiful, Sweetwater Mission, JC Mission, uh, JC Freedom House, The Pantry, and Habitat for Humanity. And I'll ask Elena to come up and announce our winner at this time. Hi, my name is Elena Hudson with Hudson's Hickory House. I serve as chair of our Advancing Modern Professionals of Douglas. And on behalf of our organization, we are so thrilled to announce the 2020 Young Professional of the Year Award to Ms. Blair Pilgrim McClure. Thanks so much, Elena. The Small Business of the Year Award is presented annually to the businesses that have experienced significant growth, demonstrated innovation, and contributed positively to our community. This year's recipient was selected from the 2020 Businesses of Excellent recipients. They are as follow All Print Marketing and Media Solutions, Boomerang Sanitation, Burke's Grill, Douglas Dental Care, Fame Marketing, Jones Wynn Funeral Home and Crematory, Majestic Etiquette, uh, Medical Clinic, uh, Metro Garage Door, Stallings Insurance Agency, Wink Travel, and West Georgia Cornhole. This year's recipient has been in business for over seven years, expanded their facility to a 50,000 square foot building, doubled their sales from 2017 to 2019, donated their products to numerous organizations to, supp to support their fundraising needs, manufactured PPE for frontline workers during COVID, pivoting their business model to accommodate the needs of their current customers and those affected by the pandemic. It is my pleasure to present the 2020 Small Business of the Year Award to West Georgia Cornhole. Congratulations, Brandon and to your team. Please come forward. Thank you so much, Brandon, for all you've done for our community and for those affected by the pandemic. All right, our next award goes to the Large Business of the Year. This award recognizes the outstanding growth, continuity, innovation, and community service over the past year. This year's Large Business of the Year is no stranger to our community. Their service to Douglas County is evident in partnerships like Children's Voice Casa in Douglas County, JC Freedom House, Sweetwater Mission, the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville, Douglas County, the Care Place, the Pantry, Beyond the Front Porch, Douglas County School System, 
share house, and that is just to name a few. The recipient just returned $23 million to their members in 2020, with $15 million returned early in the pandemic as a special capital credits early refund. They also suspended cutoffs for non-payment for months and continue to work with their members who need support during the pandemic. It is my pleasure to present the 2020 Large Business of the Year Award to Greystone Power Corporation. Congratulations to Gary Miller and the entire team at uh, Greystone. Next, um, it is my pleasure to award um, an award for the outgoing chairman. Um, Craig Owens was not able to be here today, so I'm going to present that on his behalf. Each year, the outgoing chairman has the privilege of recognizing a member of the board of directors who has met all expectations and provided outstanding service to our organization. While Craig could not be here with us today to present this award, I know this decision was very tough for him in having such a great team of board members. He has chosen to give this an award, this award to an individual who has consistently gone above and beyond the call of duty. This year's recipient is always working behind the scenes. She is not one to take center stage, but has served beyond her duties as a board member this year. To name a few, she led the Chamber's Government Affairs Committee to drive the advocacy efforts surrounding the hate crime legislation, which resulted in the organization taking a stance of support. She spearheaded two of the Chamber's Recovery and Resiliency Task Forces to support our business community. She drove the logistics behind the creation of Elevate Douglas Economic Partnership, which is a public-private nonprofit organization focused on economic stability and so much more. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to announce the 2020 Chairman's Award winner, Ms. Odessa Archibald with Georgia Power Company. Odessa is on special assignment with Georgia Power and cannot be here today, so accepting the award on her behalf is Nikeo Denny. Nikeo, if you'll come up. Thank you very much. Excellent. The Sam P. Roberts Community Service Award is presented to an individual who has demonstrated exemplary service to our community in the past year. This year's award has a slightly different recipient than we've ha ever had in the past. So today we will recognize a team that has served our entire community in such a significant way that it cannot go unnoticed. This year's recipient is truly the picture of community service. They serve countless nonprofits, including the Pantry, Share House, Local Food Ministries, American Cancer Society, American Heart Association, Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation, and many more. But most notably, this year's recipient has been front and center during the pandemic. Their staff has worked tirelessly and sacrificed so much to care for our community. Please join me in recognizing the entire team, every nurse, doctor, patient coordinator, and facilities crew at our very own Wellstar Douglas Hospital as the recipient of the 2020 Sam P. Roberts Community Service Award. Shane Green, would you please come forward to accept this award on behalf of your team? Thank you, Wellstar. All right, congratulations to all of our award winners today. 
This event is an opportunity for each of us to reflect on the amazing people and businesses who make this community such a special place to live, work, and play. I truly am honored to work with each and every one of you. Now for a few chamber announcements. During the week of March 8th, Partners in Education is offering you an opportunity to spend time virtually with a Douglas County School System principal to learn all about their responsibilities. Participants will also learn about the creative programs and offerings available at your school. Secure your spot by February 19th by visiting the Chamber's website. Leadership Douglas and Youth Leadership Douglas applications are now available and due March 12th. These leadership programs are designed to educate participants about the Douglas County community while learning leadership skills and connecting with other leaders in our area. Don't miss out, sign up now. The Advancing Modern Professionals in Douglas County Continuing Education Scholarship applications are now available. Y'all really give me a lot of words to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> these scholarships are designed for young professionals from chamber member organizations seeking to continue their education on any level, whether pursuing a college degree, technical certification, or attending a professional development conference. Applications are also due March 12th. The Chamber is pleased to announce their first annual clay shoot at Fox Hall Resort on March 18th. For sponsorship information, visit the Chamber website or speak with a team member after today's event. I wanna, thanks, I wanna say thanks again to Connolly Jordan and Associates for sponsoring today's luncheon. Um, and uh, if Andrew could come back up, we'll do door prizes. Um, so if you have your little blue ticket, get those out. And to our award winners, after we're done here, if you could come back up for some photos, that would be great as well. So we will. Okay, so we have three door prizes today. They're all the same. So the first one goes to ticket number 508037. 037. Mr. Knowles. You might want to check his ticket. <laughs> All right, the next one is 508001. I'm thinking whoever came in first today. All right, Miss Wink. We don't need to check her ticket. All right, and our third door prize today goes to ticket number 647331. 331. All right. <laughs> okay, he, he's so We'll draw one more ticket. Five zero eight zero zero eight zero zero eight. All right, come on up. I want to say congratulations again to our award winners and hope you all have a great rest of your day. <laughs>